I'm going to do Surya Namaskar A, which is the same thing as Vinyasa. And every teacher's got a little ways they like teaching this differently. This is my way. I think it's the best, obviously. So it has a few basic motions. I'm going to show you what they are, and then we'll string them together, OK? The first is this. Your hands are at your heart. Your shoulders are rolling back and down the back. Actually, no. The first is Sadasana. Let's find Sadasana together. Your feet are on the floor, even. You got your hips, I mean, your feet are hip distance apart. The reason I did this is because that's how you can measure. If you put your fists together and put it between your feet, that's your hip distance, okay? So your feet are hip distance apart, and, and if you do this in, like, I think it's Bikram, they like to have your feet together in Tadasana. So weird. I like them hip distance. Feel your body weight moving around evenly on your feet. This is important. Sometime I'll just talk for like 10 minutes about Tadasana, but right now we're just going to find it. Kneecaps come into the quads. Quads rotate inward, shins rotate outward. Pelvis is stable. Low ribs go down and back. Shoulders go up and back. Chin comes out of your chest. Head flows like a balloon. Basically, Tadasana teaches you how to stand. And we're, we're learning how to stand in a, in a way that every muscle in the body is lightly engaged in order to get the skeleton stacked upright. Okay, so think about your skeleton. What I just said to you applies probably more to my skeleton than to yours. So think about your hips, your shoulders, your rib cage, your feet, your head. Try to line them up. It is possible. All right, so Tadasana is our foundation for the Surya Namaskar and for every part of yoga. Also, we do this. Hands to your heart. Mm -hmm. Also, we do this. I love this motion. Inhaling the arms up. Exhaling the hands to the heart. Making a circle with your shoulders. This grounds your heart. Energy is so good. Also, we do this. Wait a second. We do this. Swan dive forward bend. Mm, I love that too. Also, we do this. Flat back. Flat back, I, I probably did 100 million sun salutes before I figured out that this is actually a big deal. This pose right here. It's a huge deal. We're finding our lumbar spine here, which, by the way, curves forward a little bit, right? Curves. My lumbar spine, you can't see it because I don't have a very good curve. But it's, it's curving towards the floor, towards the mat. Feel that on yourself, OK? And also feel in your flat back the connection between your hamstrings, that's these muscles, and your low back muscles. Mm. So flat back is part of the sun salute. And then, so is Uttanasana forward bend. I'm not very warmed up. I'm not very deep in my forward bend. That's OK. Just finding something nice here. Good. And here's another pose that we do, plank. Everybody loves plank. Planking. When you're in your plank, spread your fingers apart wide and press down through your knuckles. Okay. Really use your hand muscles. That's going to protect your wrists. All right, now here's a way that I differ in my sun salute than some people. I like to make you work your arms. So I really emphasize this pose, Chaturanga Dandasana, covering to the hovering plank. This is way hard to do. It's so hard. Hovering plank. And then inhaling up. And this is cobra. If your knees are on the ground, you're in cobra. If your knees are off the ground, you're in up dog. They're about the same. And then I like to tell you to roll back over your toes to down dog. Down facing dog, Adamukha Svanasana. Aside from Tadasana, this is probably our number two most important yoga pose. And I'll just hang out here for a second and tell you why I like it, OK? It is strengthening your shoulders. For the first billion times you do down dog, you're going to feel this in your shoulders. That's good. That's building your yoga shoulders. It's good. Unless it's like exacerbating some injury, in which case you've got to not do that, okay? But if you just, if your shoulders are just mad at you, it means they're getting muscle. That's good. All right. So then the second thing, the main thing it does is it releases the hamstrings right here in the backs of the legs. Find that stretch. It's awesome. This, just being upside down like this gives you access to your muscles in the backs of your legs that you couldn't have any other way. It's really, really good. And then it stretches the shoulders, it stretches the low back, strengthens the hands, stretches the feet. It's good. OK. So uh, yeah, those are the basic components of the Surya Namaskar. I'm going to show you. I'm just going to do it. All right. So you take your hands. First, find your Shadasana. Find your feet. Take your hands to your heart. Inhale up, 
Exhale, swan dive, forward bend. Inhale to your flat back. Exhale, find the floor, plank pose. We're gonna do two motions and the same exhale, lower down, on the same exhale. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, over your toes, open your heart. Exhale, roll back over your toes, down dog. Bend your knees, look between your hands, we're on the same exhale. Step or jump to the front of the mat. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fall bend. Inhale, arms over your head. Exhale, hands to your heart. That was a vinyasa. Surya Namaskar A. So awesome. There's a few ways to adjust it. I will take you through and adjust it. Okay. Inhale, arms over your head. Exhale, swan that forward bend. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, find the floor. Now, some people jump back here. Don't jump back. Step back. And then when you lower down, I'm going to come to that in a second. Lower down. Inhale over your toes. If you can't roll over your toes, it's okay, but just think about starting to work on that. It's a really nice foot stretch. Exhale, roll back over your toes. The way to start, if you're not doing it yet, is to do one foot at a time. And just be easy and take your time with it, it comes, okay? Bend your knees, look between your hands, step or jump. Obviously, you're gonna start with stepping, okay? Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward. Inhale, arms over your head. Exhale, hands to your heart. I'm going to show you the way they do it at Jiva Mukti and a bunch of other studios that I've been to. Inhale, arms over your head. Exhale, swan dive forward bend. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, step back plank. This is now this same exhale, we're going to take our knees and then our chest and then our chin to the floor and kind of like, ooh, squeeze ourselves up. I, I'm not very good at that. I think that's hard. And then exhale. Come back to your knees. Sorry, I forgot about that. Knees, and then downward dog. So you might like that better. It's easier on the biceps, but it's a hard, I, I personally find it a difficult upper body back bend, which probably means that I should practice it more. Let's do one more like that. Bend your knees, look, uh, step or jump to the front of the mat. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, pull up in. Inhale, arms over your head. Exhale, hands to your heart. Okay. Uh, this is again the Jiva Mukti way. Inhale, arms over your head. Exhale, swan dive forward bend. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, step back plank. Same exhale, put your knees, your chest, your chin on the ground. And, oh, <laughs> terrible at that. There's this movie with Jennifer Lopez where she breaks into some art museum and she has to like squeeze it out, like snake her way under all these like laser beams. We're doing like that. That's basically it. Come back to your knees, and to down dog. Yeah, walk it out. Bend your knees up between your hands, step or jump to the front of the mat. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, arms over your head. Exhale, hands to your heart. So, I'm gonna do a couple more of the bicep ones, the ones that I like, uh, Chaturanga Dandasana. The reason I like those is because they, I've practiced them a lot, so I'm kinda good at it. And it also, um, you're really not gonna get this muscle too many other ways. Chaturanga Dandasana, especially if you, if you do a lot of vinyasas, which you will do in yoga, if you're hitting that muscle every single time, it's gonna, you know, you're gonna get nice arms. Inhale, arms over your head. Exhale, swan dive forward bend. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, step back plank. Um, that said, if you have a wrist injury or a shoulder injury, or an elbow injury, you might not be able to do this. In fact, it might be exactly wrong for you, so maybe don't, okay? Hovering plank, Chaturanga Dandasana. And if you can't hover for like however long I'm hovering, hover for like 0.01 seconds and then down to the ground. That's totally fine, that's how I like, okay? Inhale up to your cobra, whatever that looks like. Exhale, roll back over your toes, down dog. Bend your knees up between your hands, step or jump to the front of the mat. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, arms over your head. Exhale, hands to your heart. Obviously, I have a lot to say about the vinyasa. I, this is already, I've talked a lot more than I intended to. Let's do one more. Inhale, arms over your head. Exhale, swan dive forward bend. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, find the floor, step back, plank pose. The reason I don't like jumping back, lower down, hover. Inhale, over your toes. Is because people hurt themselves. Exhale, roll back, over your toes, down, dog. 
I know a lot of people, especially women who do Ashtanga yoga, who um, do a lot of that jump back and hurt their shoulders. So if you're gonna jump back, I'm not, I'm not saying that I don't, sometimes I do, but I like to tell people to wait until they feel like their shoulders are really super strong. That said, the jump forward, as soon as you've got a little bit of core strength, start working on that jump forward. It's nice. You're bending your knees, look between your hands, step right and jump to the front of the mat. And, and in that brief second when we're in the air, we're doing a handstand. It's a good practice. Inhale, flat out. Exhale, full of it. Inhale, arms over your head. Exhale, hands to your heart. Surya Namaskar. Salutation to the sun. There are very... There. There are variations, like there's Surya Namaskar B that adds a lot of legs in and a lot of people like putting low lunges and stuff in there. That was just your basic Surya Namaskar A. Namaste.